guys and welcome to my channel last night david was at a uba cocktail event that held in the united states of america that featured the likes of the president of sao tome ali kudangote ngozi okonjo iwala like you saw earlier among so many other dignitaries it was a shut down event it was a it was an event to celebrate uba group at 75 and we had a lot of nigerians it held in new york the united states of america and like i said earlier we had the likes of ngozi okonjo iwala who is the dg of world trade organization and we also had queen maxima i really don't know who she is but it looks like she is a top shot so uh, the group chairman of ube mr tony Ilumeli, was present of course with his daughter uge and um also his wife was present in fact the event was loaded by the way tony Olumelu throws the best parties like he sure knows how to host an event and we also had u.s senator chris coons i hope i pronounced that right <laughs> David flew in from the UK 24 hours before this event took place. David has been booked and busy. What I do not know is if his uh, collaboration with Wema Bank still stands because, I mean, this is a rival bank. So this is Amarachi Onyemobi. I am shocked that she is at this event. I know she was part of Flavors Europe tour, like she was in Amsterdam, she was in France. So I'm just too shocked that she is also in America to dance for Davis. I don't know where she is based, but whatever it is she's doing, she sure knows her onions. <laughs> Here we have David in this group photographer. Who is the little lady beside? Guys, you just, can you spot the little lady? She has such a beautiful face. And I love how everybody is being very warm. Okay, like I said earlier, the event is actually a cocktail event celebrating UBA America at 40 and UBA group at 75. To be very honest, I didn't realize that UBA group was that old. Here we have the president of Saltomi and principal of um guys who, who has this flag? His Excellency Carlos Villanova. Please, I would like to know the country he represents. Don't tell me to use Google. I don't have time. That's why I'm asking. If you know the country he represents, please write it in the comment section. We have Mr. Tony Ilumelu and uh, the president of Sierra Leone, the CEO UBA Africa and CEO UBA International, it truly takes a village. And then we have His Excellency Bryce, Bryce Guinea, President of Gabon. Wow, finally, a young president from Africa. Mado, we have Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. Wow, Mr. Tony Elumelu sure knows how to pull the crowd though. And we have OK Benedict Orema, President of the African Exports Import Bank wow wow that's all i can see and then uh, here we have his excellency nana akufo ado the president of ghana mr tony elumelu oh yeah, yeah take your flowers like this is a big deal here we have muhammad umaru bako the governor of Ninja state <laughs> this one is states with the cash fire in the america let's listen to david a bit of that <laughs> you can tell that the crowd enjoyed david's performance <laughs> So I'd like to
to know do you think david sang the song because of choma because i can't remember the year and i don't know if he met if he knew choma at the time <laughs> Because we all know that from his story about how he met Yoma, when he met her, she wasn't interested in him. I remember David had severally mentioned how Yoma ignored him completely. David song say David has hit songs like no bad songs. <laughs> the album before Timeless, a lot of people say their album was a flop, but I don't think so. I think the album is a better time. <laughs> that i feel there's some songs that i feel like are not appropriate for corporate events i remember nigerian rapper black bones talking about how he was at a cocktail event a cocktail dinner with people a lot of people in their 60s and 50s 60s and 70s and then he said he realized how vulgar his song was because he couldn't even sing the lyrics without looking a type of way the next song is one of my favorite songs of the timeless album in order for you to enjoy this vlog i will have to do some interjection so i'd like to know if you have been following the whole bob risky drama guys it's a lot I just have a problem with the fact that Bob Risky talks too much, like way too much. There are certain informations that even FBI should never get from you. Like how do you open your mouth wah, and say so much considering the country we are in? David flanked by Mr. Ilumelu and his daughters and here we have top executives gathered at the UBA cocktail event connecting with global leaders and shaping the future. Of course in celebration of 75 years of driving financial inclusion globally. More UBA customers now go talk if the celebration they want it to because anyway UBA is one bank I hardly like see people complain. I hardly see tweets or maybe because it's it's a tree later i mean gt trends all the time for, for for account issues in fact for the past four days i haven't been able to recharge my account from my for my gt i don't know what the problem is hopefully i'll go to the bank because i don't want to believe it has to do with network issues Aye is one of my favorite tracks from David. It is such a dope song. This song and do 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 in 
na, 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 na. to be very honest the problem is i never remember the the titles of his albums but that album was a solid 10 over 10. so i'd like to know do you want me to do a standalone post for bob's issue <laughs> David Shaw left America this morning back to Europe. Like I said, David is back to Europe. He left this morning. Guys, take a look at David's skin. Um, these people made us believe that when you take a lot of people, your skin will be dry. Hey! <laughs> David was with his longtime DJ and friend, DJ Eko. Hmm. Uh, There's just something fascinating about the fact that you can have an event in America and you have a lot of Nigerians that people will hardly know that the event took place outside of Nigeria. <laughs> 